He will do the homework himself. He thinks he knows everything. What's going on, dear? Dea didn't let me do anything for the project. I will do this project on my own now, Mother. If it's our project, we should have done it together, you know? You did the right thing by making effort to do it together anyway, Pearl. When I tried to help him, I think I ruined the project that he was preparing, though, Mother. Hmm, this is unfortunate. I know that, but I didn't do it on purpose, Dad. None of this would have happened if we had done it together. Okay, dear, don't be upset. You will think of something. What is your project? Building something by using geometrical objects, Mum. So what will you do? Vroom, we vroom, will build vroom, a robot. Vroom. I mean, I will. Vroom. A robot? Name him Proton, then, please. So you have the kitchen. See if you find objects that will be of use to you here. <sighs> oh, wow. This milk carton looks exactly like a rectangular prism. And this is a cylinder. How about that? The kitchen is full of geometrical objects everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> that is our kitchen right there. Full support for math class. Maybe sugar cubes will be of use to you too. You're right. They are mini cubes, Mum. Now, do you see why we call them sugar cubes? Understand, my darling? Oh, uh, they look exactly like cubes, so they are called sugar cubes. <laughs> sugar cubes are so very sweet. Everybody wants some sugar cubes to eat. So sweet, so sweet, very sweet. Everybody wants some to eat. Sugar cubes are so very sweet. Everybody wants some sugar cubes to eat. So sweet, so sweet, very sweet. Everybody wants some to eat. That was good, Dad. Mother, this looks like a cone, right? You're wonderful, Pearl. A funnel's like a cone, a funny, funny funnel. Come on and build a new robot for us, my honey. A funnel's like a cone, a funny, funny funnel. Come on and build a new robot for us, my honey. You're awesome, Dad. <laughs> you two are awesome, too. missing. I think something's missing. Um, well, we we should use these as spheres. <laughs> Why are you here? I'm very sorry, Pearl. This was supposed to be our project, and you were correct. We both needed to participate in it. And I'm sorry that I broke the model you started building for the project for us, Deha. No problem. I think this will be much better than my model anyway, because it will be a project that we made together. <laughs> my dear friend Deha, Come on, let us start building our robot right away. Yeah, stick this on your robot. Uh, Uzai? Are you really giving me the sticker off of your favorite robot? I'm so surprised now. <gasps> My sweet little brother. Oh, a nameless robot won't do, Pearl. Every robot has to have a name. Oh, and this is Proton. Okay then, children. You're all here with the projects you built with geometrical objects. Now everyone will present their projects. Let's see what you've made. Ma'am, you know, it turns out that there are lots of geometrical objects in our kitchen. I had never even noticed that before. You're right, Beryl. In fact, we encounter many things concerning mathematics in our everyday lives, but we don't look closely enough. Even ordinary sugar cubes have maths in them. There you go, Beryl. What? Did somebody say sugar? You only heard the sugar part then, Jesun. Pearl also said cube. When it's about food, all of his senses go off in his brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, children. Let's start with Nasla and Efe's presentation. Let's see what they've come up with using geometrical objects. Efe and I thought long and hard about this, and we worked very hard to build the best model in the whole wide world. Here is our amazing project. The pink mansion! In our mansion, we use cylinders, 
They are rectangular prisms too, cubes, cones, and a lot of pink paint to make our mansion pretty. We couldn't find any other color but pink. Next time, we'll use dark pink just for you then, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your presentation, Nazla and Efe. Now let's see Adan Chezur's project. The two of us worked very hard just like Nazla and Efe did. We thought a lot about our project. And of course, since we both worked so hard, we were very hungry. In the end, we decided to build a restaurant for you. <laughs> Why am I not surprised at all? <laughs> <laughs> In our project, we especially use sugar cubes because they're so sweet and delicious. Of course, he ate most of them. Let's thank Ada and Jasur for their presentation. Um, sorry, madam. Since the project is done, can I eat the cubes now? No, my dear Jasur. If you're hungry, you should eat something that is a bit healthier for you, not sugar cubes. Okay, ma'am, got it. Now it's time for Daya and Perol's project. And here is our incredible robot man, Proton. 